two weeks ago I was home and I bought a ticket to micro wrestling. Do you know what that is? Midget wrestling. Oh my God. It's the best. It is the best. And I love midgets. My best friend, Sarah, she's a midget. She lived with me for six months. She goes, do not call me a wee person. I'm a midget. Not a problem. And I bet you, I learned a lot. Did you know if you lick a midget, you'll get high? If you crack their heads open, they're filled with candy. They are, they're filled with candy. And I, I, love, I, I love my best friend. And um, let's say we're sitting on the sofa late night and um, I get to craving chocolate. I might put a dent in her head and get me a Reese's peanut butter cup. But I wouldn't scalp her, you know what I'm saying? I'm not inhumane for God's sakes. Any of y'all have any midget friends? One lady was so offended at the last show. I said, ma'am, did you give birth to a midget? I just think you're disrespectful. I said, I think you hate midgets. <laughs> yeah, because if you can't laugh at it, it's, you know, who's not making fun of me right now? What made her think she could wear a leopard and pull it off, you know? <laughs> it's not like you ladies are thinking, oh, I've got to get some leopard pants. <laughs> I never want leopard in my house again. Look at that woman. Look at her. And the older you get, we dress really fucked up. <laughs> I don't like the way we dress. Oh, that was the first list he gave me. There was the second part to that bullshit. I'll tell you this, I'm sharing some personal things with y'all. Yeah, two weeks ago, I decided to get a bubble bath, okay? Yeah, well, you're laughing. Are you kind of moist now? <laughs> I ran a full tub with bubble bath and I actually put some rose petals in there. Yeah, got in there, didn't have my phone with me and just, oh, it was so luxurious, I was in heaven. And then I started to get out of the tub and uh, I couldn't get out. So I ran some more hot water, let cold out, and I was like a prune. And I thought, what am I gonna do? And I'll tell you what had happened, is my butthole pulled suction on that porcelain. And I, I could not get out of the tub, I, I could not get out of the tub. And um, I'm schizophrenic. And so a lot of times I'll start yelling at myself, for stupid shit that I do. So I was like, well, Janet, you fucked this up, haven't you? How are we gonna get out of this tub? And, and Janet said, God damn. And I go, that's using the Lord's name in vain. You will not talk to our tub like this, okay? So I kept letting the water out and I was like, you have fucked us up, Janet. And I said, you need to shut up. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do something that I think What's his name? MacGyver. I'm thinking about what MacGyver would do. So I started rocking from side to side and side to side. Then I heard and my butthole detached itself from the porcelain. I was relieved, but I tell you what, in the, I looked in the mirror and it had that Target sign on my butt. <laughs> Looks like I've got a tattoo, I liked it. I don't think old women get tattoos because we're wrinkled up. Looks like we've got essential trimmers. <laughs> I really do have essential trimmers. Getting old, take your life tonight. Take your life tonight. Don't wait till 74, okay? I'll share this with you. I wear hearing aids. I didn't bring them for this show. So you can say whatever you wanna say. But um, I'll tell you what happened to me. I was at my home club and I'd needed hearing aids for some time. And um, when I don't hear somebody, 
My response is, congratulations. Because <laughs> I know they don't want to repeat it again. So I'm standing in line, people are leaving, and these three women came up and they said, we had the best time tonight. Thank you so much, we needed those laughs. Um, we buried our mother last week. And I said, congratulations. <laughs> so my buddy said, do you know what you just said to those women? I said, yeah, congratulations. She said, they said they buried their mother last week. And I was like, Fuck. I'll need to catch up with them. So I ran and caught up with them. And uh, that's before my legs gave out on me. And because uh, it would have been a up run, you know what I'm saying? And I said, ladies, I am so sorry. I didn't understand that your mother died last week. And all three of them said, we weren't that close to her. <laughs> Isn't that the best? <laughs> Because then I could say, congratulations again. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know how long I can do comedy. I don't know how long I'll be allowed to do com comedy. Okay, so I've got hearing aids, never wear them. <laughs> Y'all should not be here. You really should. <laughs> I can hardly stand up. I don't even drink. I will tonight, okay? Um, <laughs> did I tell you that I uh, got some Spanx the other day? Did I mention Spanx? <laughs> I went to Macy's. I wanted to have a flat stomach. It wasn't gonna work through exercise, simply because I do not exercise. <laughs> and uh, so the lady was in her 60s, and I said, ma'am, I need a pair of Spanx so my stomach's flat. She came back after about five minutes, brought me a piece of elastic that was this wide. <laughs> this wide. I said, ma'am, did you look at my gut before you got this? She said, it'll fit. I'm gonna put you in a dressing room. You go in there and you just kind of move them up and you'll get them up where they need to go, okay? So that's what I tried, I say tried to do, okay? And uh, I was in there 30 minutes, never heard from her. Finally, she knocks on the dressing room door. She goes, ma'am, are you okay? I go, F no, I'm not okay. I can't get these things up. And I'll tell you what happens to the fat, it goes to your neck. I look like the Michelin man is what I look like. I'm all bruised. She said, well, I'm gonna help you. I said, don't you come in here, I'll whip your ass. I want two maintenance men. She said, two, I said, that's what I said. I want two maintenance men. Those two young boys came in and they can never unsee what they saw that day. <laughs> Bruising, splotches everywhere, still had a big gut. But now that I'm old, uh, I'm trying to get hip, so to speak. Do, do you have a tattoo? We'll get tattoos tonight after the show. <laughs> I tell you, I got one tattoo when I was 40 years old, and I thought it was really hot. I had a small little long stem miniature rose. And um, now that I'm 74, it's a long stem rose. <laughs> the leaves are falling. They've got little bug bites on them, yeah. You wanna be careful about what you get tattooed on you. And I have, uh, young girlfriends that have had, at the time, those um, tramp stamps, you know? And I go, what does that say? And she goes, it says, faith, hope, and love. I said, it was done by a Chinaman. It could say your mother sucks in hell, you don't know. 